okay let us discuss uh, this reaction this is called HBZ reaction so let us first copy this one so if you have acid RCH2COOH if you treat this compound with bromine PBr3 what you will get that is the uh, answer you have to look for and this reaction is called HBZ reaction and this is used for alpha halogenation so if you remember the word that is alpha halogenation you can directly write down the product so you see there is an acid group and now this carbon is a basically alpha carbon so what we are saying is you have to add a halogen at alpha carbon so if you add a halogen at alpha carbon so what will be the product so you will have R CH and you have to add one bromine and then you see OOH so this reaction is used to brominate the alpha halogen so alpha position you can brominate or you can do uh, chlorination also what is the mechanism for this reaction so this reaction you see once again goes by a keto form in all forms so this reaction is something so if you remember in aldehyde ketone chapter we said two things if you have basic medium attack happens by nucleophile so minus nucleophile you have alpha carbon you take that alpha carbon and they make a negative charge and attack by that carbon ion so in basic medium uh, aldehyde ketone attacks by alpha carbon in acidic medium I said earlier that attack happens through in all form are you getting or not so this is the medium in this case this is the acid so the medium you assume this acidic so reactions happen through in all form first is reaction is simple so if you treat with PBr3 so OH will be replaced by bromine so I am not going to discuss this mechanism you have to remember the mechanism what happens in this case this lone pairs attacks on phosphorus and bromine comes this bromine attacks goes up down and then goes further so this is the mechanism for this step I will uh, once again repeat this oxygen because this phosphorus can uh, uh, violate is octet so this goes here bromine ups comes this attacks here this goes comes back returns so you will have a bromine that is added here so you see this is the first product that is a if you want to acid to acid chloride or acid halide we have two reagents did you remember PBR3 is one reagent SOCl2 is another reagent so you can do uh, basically acyl form so you can have acid and acid derivative that is the acid chloride so acid chloride can further tautomerize so if you tautomerize this one this, this means this hydrogen can go here so this simple transfer of hydrogen and you will have a double bond here so if you do tautomerization you will have something like this RCH double bond OHBr now if this uh, enol form so this is your enol form so let us write I am going slightly fast so you write and then we'll discuss next now this in all form can further react with bromine so on if you remember an alkene what kind of reaction happens on bromine alkene a nucleophile alkene attacks on Br2 one bromine goes out Br as Br minus and further attacks so you see this comes here this goes this side at the same time I can move so basically what is happening once this goes here this goes this side so carbon will have a positive charge so, so I have to break the H plus so this goes here so I will have finally or you can do in the next step you can make a plus charge and then you lose H plus so another way you can do the same thing that I have, I have done so this lone pair this lone pair goes here so let us leave this arrow right now so this lone pair goes here so you will have something like this so you will have carbon this is just add to bromine now this lone pair has gone so there will be a positive charge in the next step I can lose H plus so I will have this compound so if I lose H plus so you getting or not now everybody knows if I do hydrolysis if water can attack further on this molecule I can get acid so if H2O basically attacks on bromine and bromine goes I will get acid so I have acid RCOOH but I, here I will have a, a bromine group that is basically I will have a bromine this bromine will not be substituted by H2O that you have to remember if you substitute this OH with OH uh, you will have H2O is not so nucleophilic that will attack on this carbon this carbon is not so nucleophilic 
electro frequency this carbon can be attacked because this is a sile group so this is a positive charge due to oxygen positive charge due to minus i effect bromine but this carbon is not so electrophilic and that's why h2 will not attack on this carbon it will attack on this carbon and the final product you see on alpha carbon you have a halogen group so the final product of hbz reaction is alpha halogenation are you getting so this is all about the alpha halogenation reaction now so if you have this one this is an intermediate so if you see in this reaction what is intermediate this is an intermediate so this is an intermediate so you see this intermediate is called alpha bromo acyl bromide so this intermediate that is alpha position you have a bromo group so this is alpha bromo this is a acyl group alpha bromo acyl bromide so if we have cobr that is acyl bromide you can say so alpha bromo acyl bromide this is this intermediate is generally named as alpha bromo acyl bromide you don't have to remember the name so you simply know there is an intermediate something like of this so that attacks uh, first uh, first attacks oh is replaced by br and that that intermediate forms and if the further next cases you can hydrolyze this oh and then you will get the final product are getting or not so this is of course this is also intermediate because if i lose h plus i will get this as intermediate so basically this is the uh, more correctly i to have to say this is more correctly this is the intermediate this is intermediate but before the intermediate you can say this is not exactly intermediate because it has a h plus i have to lose h plus and then i will get this so this is alpha bromo acyl bromide that is a intermediate in this reaction if you see what is the intermediate you have in benzene ring you have seen there is intermediate benz erinium ion you see bromonium ion there are so many intermediate tetrahedral intermediate so you can you can uh, remember these intermediates in aldehyde ketone chapter you have a tetrahedral intermediate in alkene chapter you have a bromenium intermediate or halonium intermediate in uh, in acid chapter you see there is an intermediate that is alpha bromo acyl bromide so in alkyne chapter you have a mercurium intermediate do you remember the mercurium intermediate you have something like this and let me write here sg plus there is no and this is called mercurium intermediate so you have so many intermediates in our course you have in a one reaction carbene as an intermediate did you remember in some reaction we have a carbene as intermediate okay so this is all about the alpha hbz reaction you have to remember only one thing hbz reaction is used for alpha halogenation now you see this reaction is very useful if you want to substitute something here i can use this reaction so let me give you some idea here itself so i have i want to prepare from this compound rch2cooh i want to prepare rch cooh and i want to add one cooh group here now i can do this by alpha halogenation easily you can see here what i will do first i want to prepare this compound so this is my preparation task how can i prepare this compound now if i use alpha halogenation things are very simple first i will do alpha halogenation rch2 cooh and react with pbr3 or pcl3 so let me write pbr3 in the presence of bromine br2 so you will have r chbr cooh are you getting this this is alpha halogenation now i can react this with cn minus kcn cn minus k plus so what i will have this bromine is replaced by cn are you getting so you will have ch cooh and if i do hydrolysis as 3o plus you will have r ch cooh and this will hydrolyze to cooh so nitrile will hydrolyze to cooh so you see you can basically add any alpha group so you can do this reaction very easily so if you want to substitute anything at alpha position in a acid you can take the help of this reaction even if you have something like this if you want to prepare r ch2 cooh if you want to prepare r ch2 
and let us put C triple bond C here and then here C O O H how will you do that once again so here you have C H how will you do that once again first step you can do is bromination PBR3 in the presence of bromine you will have a alpha halogenation R C H C O O H now BR will be here now if I treat with any nucleophile so let us treat C H C C triple bond C H minus are you getting you have to take this in excess because you will have acid base reaction also so you will have CSO if you take this in excess even though acid base reaction is complete you will have excess nucleophile so this nucleophile will attack here this bromine will go so you will have R C H C triple bond C H and COO minus because the medium is basic so let us treat in basic medium CHH minus and NH2 minus medium is basic are you getting I, you can simply take this alkyne CH no negative charge you simply take alkyne that is CH double triple bond CH if you take this one and take NH2 minus it will itself generate so uh, uh, basically minus will be generated itself and this minus can attack now basically there will be acid base reaction also so you have to take this reagent in excess so that even though there is acid base reaction so the final product so we have sufficient nucleophile that can attack here this goes here now if I simply add H plus I will get this product are you getting or not so this if I add catalyst as H plus just for sake of protonation and then I will get this product so you see this reaction is very useful because if I want to do some alpha halogenation I have to take the help of this path so this is all about the alpha halogenation HBZ reaction this reaction is quite useful reaction one can remember this reaction for alpha halogenation purpose okay let us go for the next problem